Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna just continue finding some trig values without a calculator. And uh, this is basically a, a, a little course that I'm doing here on basic trig and you can see the rest at this website anyways. So yeah, let's get started looking for the cosine of 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4 is not in the first quadrant. In fact, it's on the second quadrant. And um, so we're going to need to find the reference angle first and then use the, the special triangles in order to figure out what the value is without a calculator. So first I'm going to just arrange the, the um, uh, 30, 60, 90 and the 45, 45, 90 triangle. But uh, today I'm actually going to change things slightly here. And I'm actually going to present the angles in radians. Um, so this is the 30, 60, 90 triangle, which can be seen, of course, is... Oops had the wrong function here. Yeah, anyway, this would be the pi over 6, pi over 3, 90 degrees triangle, and the measures are 1, 2, and root 3. And we also have, of course, the, pi, uh, the 45, 45, 90 triangle, which is pi over 4, pi over 4, and 90. 1, 1, root 2 are the measures. Um, it's important to, it's good to know, uh, good to memorize these special triangles for a good result in trig. That's a very ugly two, by the way. It almost looks kind of a deformed one. So, yes, I just even right here, that's a two, just in case. All right, anyways, so cos 3 pi over 4, let's find the reference angle for it. Uh, 3 pi over 4 is in between pi over 2 and pi. And I know that because 3 over 4 is just 0 0.75. So, okay, how can I find the reference angle? And we know that 3 pi over 4 is going to be here then, you know, on the ter this terminal arm, and the reference angle is going to be right there. And to find it, since it's on the second quadrant, I can actually just subtract it from pi, which is 180 degrees. So pi minus 3 pi over 4 I can actually multiply the pi by 4 over 4 to get 4 pi over 4. Then I can subtract these guys and obtain pi over 4. So that is the reference angle. And let's take a look here. All students take calculus, meaning that uh, all of sine, cosine, and tangent are positive here. Here only sine is positive. Here only tangent is positive. Here only cosine is positive. Because our angle is on the second quadrant, we know that cosine is going to be negative, since only sine is positive on this quadrant. So it's going to be negative um, cosine of pi over 4. So if we take a look here at pi over 4, uh, we're looking for cosine. Using Sokotoa, we know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's going to be 1 over root 2. So the only difference between the cosine of 3 pi over 4 and the cosine of pi over 4 is the signal, because cos is on the second quadrant. So that's negative 1 over root 2. Great. Let's move on and find a tangent of 5 pi over 6. Um, so again, I'm actually going to have to find the reference angle. And 5 pi over 6 is also on the second quadrant. How do I know that? Well, because 5 over 6 is in between half and 1 pi. Half pi is pi over 2 right here, 90 degrees, and pi is 180 degrees. So I'm going to use the same strategy as I used here to find the reference angle. So I'm going to subtract it from pi. Pi minus 5 pi over 6, I can actually go 6 over 6, and the reference angle will be pi over 6, 4 5 pi over 6. And in the second quadrant, only sine is positive, so tangent is also negative. And now we can take a look at pi over 6, the reference angle, and tangent is going to be 1 over root 3. Now we can multiply by root 3 over root 3, and we obtain negative root 3 over 3 is the final answer. Kind of messy <laughs> here, but hopefully that made good sense. Um, Thank you for watching. Again, if you take a look at this website, you're going to see many similar questions for uh, practice. Thank you for watching.